Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. Conclusions? Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. Why is Ethan on medication? This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. There's no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. That's the Marie that I know. 
I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh. No. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? I was there. And then I was elsewhere. No, no. The book can't transport you. It must have been a vision. Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. I pray that Colden is really here, and alive. An old diary. The Scylla is here, like in the vision. Colden came this way. What the... Fuller, too. Right. Enough time wasted. Colden needs me. I must find her.
my god. What, what is happening to me? What was that? It's as if I'd been transported somewhere else. seen this symbol. It is trapped. Confronting powers that surpass you. Thank <sighs> you. 
Looks like things are back to normal. going on. It never ends. Damnation. That's... that's me. Uh, oh God! Uh. know what's going on. You must live and find the truth. It is already too late for me. Colden? What's going on? Was it a hallucination? Please take a seat and be quiet, Mr. Pierce. I'll be with you in a moment. Stop whatever the hell you're doing and turn around now. No, it can't be. No! 
You son of a bitch! What did you do to her? I wish I could have done more experiments on you, Mr. Pierce. I said, what did you do to her? You shouldn't be sorry for your friend. You should envy her. Murderer! This madness must stop. Holden? They do to you. Can you speak? What is this? Is it? He gave him the gold, and I, the azure. I don't see him very often anymore. The green is stronger. Are you feeling ill? I'm here, but no. No. Let's get you out of here. He comes in my dreams. Our minds melt like colors on a palette. Come with me. It's is of the oldest green. A violent living, vibrant. A sea green, maybe. No. No. Mrs. Hawkins, we must go before someone finds out. Oh, but he will. He always knows these things when it's about me. I have seen the same color. It was not as vivid as you said. A pale copy. A discarded spawn. Do you know what it was? Tell me. I can't. We should not call his name. Terrible, terrible consequences. All right. Come with me. He will know. He will find us. One more reason to hurry. Have I seen you before? Can you walk? Maybe. Then let's go before your husband finds us. It was in your studio. What? 
You painted me. That's where you saw me. Of course. The men in white are coming. You mean the guards? This way. Follow me. What the? Oh no. The decaying one. The gas? Yes. It's not good for living beings. We don't have time for that. I am not moving until the wrong is set right. Damn it! <sighs> I'd be better off finding a tool. Will 
No parent should have to bury their child, knowing it's me that put him there. The guilt, the guilt will never go away. I feel your pain. I'll do anything to get him back. Anything. My work was what lured me here in the first place. It began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? I took care of you, saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> It's over now.
Do I have a choice? Mr. Pierce, we were waiting for you. Good. Sarah doesn't have much time. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. Algernon, I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. You seem different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I know what I owe you, Mr. Pierce. But I can't come back to Boston with you. You've been friends for a long time, hiding each other's secrets. I trust him. What are you planning to do? I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No. You're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. You can't give up. Even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right. I'll help you. <laughs> 